Machines has a story to tell. And like the books that we publish, uh, each, each has its own unique and different story. Uh, I've collected uh, 32 presses and three envelope machines and folders and die cutters, uh, the book binding equipment, the die stamping presses. I guess it's become my mission to preserve them and collect them and keep them going. I grew up in New York City and in western Massachusetts in an 18th century farmhouse called Thornwillow, living with antiques that were crafted for beauty, for functionality, uh, crafted to last objects that are timeless. In 1985, when I was 16, I printed a children's book that was written by a family friend for her grandchildren. I set the type, the metal type, one letter at a time by hand, sewed the book on the kitchen table, and carried it to bookstores and said, would, would you like to sell this book? And they said no, uh, and eventually found, eventually found two stores that said yes. The small hobby was suddenly becoming a little business. After college, I basically found myself following craftsmen to the far corners of the earth finding the, these people who for generations had been making paper. The bindery in England, a paper mill in the Czech Republic, an engraving company in Florida. I was running this little business uh, like Pepsi-Cola, a sort of international, <laughs> international operation. Instead of following the craftsmen to the far corners of the earth, we determined to create all of this ourselves in one place, under one roof. Ultimately, what we do is a very simple thing. It's black ink on white paper. And from that very simple combination, uh, one can open up visions of the universe. My name is Luke Ponifel, and every day I get to celebrate the written word.